Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today for May I Scrap Lift You, it is May 18th. Can you believe it? Guys, the month is flying by. So we are going to be scrapbooking Ashley Projects today. Um, she used the Coco Vanilla Sunkist collection for this and I think some other little bits. Um, I'm not even going to be using a photograph. I'm actually going to be scrapbooking a first class ticket. Um, when I went to uh, Disneyland with my son. So I pulled out a couple little things, a background, um, a stencil from Scrapping Reflections, some bling, and then a travel sticker sheet. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start with this kind of teal green paper, and it's from one of the Vicky Booten paper pads. I cannot tell you which one. Not exactly sure. Maybe color kaleidoscope. Um, I'm not, I don't know. Uh, but it is kind of weird to me that I chose to use this side of the page when the other side uh, does have a pattern on it. But you know, sometimes it's the color you're going for and not necessarily the pattern. I trimmed down this paper house uh, paper with the airplanes on it. Um, it is from Explore Your World, I believe. It's a real fun pattern paper. It's got airplanes on one side and um, kind of tags with airport initials on them. It's a really cool paper. Now I did cut down this uh, rainbow camera paper because I was going to, you know, scrap lift the rainbow across the bottom of the page. I'm going ahead and using the Up in the Clouds stencil from uh, Scrapping Reflections and I'm using some Nouveau Glimmer Paste, Glimmer Glaze, Glimmer, I'm not exactly sure. Why Why do the companies got to call their glitter, their glitter mediums all kinds of different colors? I can never remember which one is which. So anyway, I am using the Nouveau Glitter Glaze in the teal. Basically, it's just a darker version of what is on the paper. And I do use all of it up, uh, and I still have areas that aren't filled in. And that was the plan. The plan was to uh, use two different glitter glazes. Now, I was going to go ahead and use uh, Fallen Snow, uh, which is a kind of a white glitter glaze from Brutus Monroe. But ultimately, while I was looking through my pile of glitter glazes, I found some of this really bright blue uh, glitz. What does Gina K call hers? Glitz Glitter Gel. And I thought that this would be a cool combination uh, with the two different colors. It would bring in a little bit of that brightness, and I could go ahead and uh, bring in more embellishments of that color. Now, I did not fill out the entire stencil, so there are gaps and little pieces uh, missing, and that is perfectly okay with me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick down this uh, airplane paper, and then I flipped over the camera paper and noticed that it had this dark blue pattern on it, and I was like, this is perfect. So uh, the cameras don't get used. I still have one row of cameras that I saved uh, that will go on a layout with actual rainbow cameras on it, I promise. Um, and then I realized that this was a little bit crooked, so I used my grid mat to go ahead and get that uh, straight line across the page. It might seem like it's crooked, but I promise, guys, I, I lined up the grid mat. It is straight. Now, I am going to pop up my uh, boarding pass onto some fun foam. This is a yellow fun foam. Um, it isn't going to be visible um, through the boarding pass or around the boarding pass, so it really doesn't matter which color fun foam uh, you use. You're not going to see it. And then I was thinking about adding on these big old gemstones uh, here uh, across the page to kind of give it a border. I put them off to the side because I was like, oh, I'll bring those back in after I figure out what... Uh, is going to go here. Um, and I left them off to the side and I never brought them back in. They never made it back to the page. It's okay though. Now this Let's Go banner is going to give me a fit. I'm going to try it out in multiple places on the layout uh, before ultimately choosing to just scoot it over a little bit to the left and make it as my title. I'm going to add this globe in and then this little um, airplane with the yellow bits. 
Now these stars that I have are super bright yellowish, um, and the yellow that I'm bringing in is not as bright, but I think it's fine. Like I don't think that there's anything wrong with having these super bright yellow stars um, with all the uh, glitter and glitz I got going on up at the top of the page, and then I figure it's, a, it's, it's close enough. Um, here on the video, it's even more pronounced, but in person, it's not as much. So I am going to overlap that bad boy. I've got this die cut um, that says something about off on an adventure or something like that. I'm going to glue that down as well. So I've got these layered bits over here in the corner. Now I add one more little bit of the uh, kind of golden yellow down here. And then I decide that I want it to overlap two geotags instead of just using one. Um, that way it gives a little bit more weight uh, to that corner of the ticket. And it seems weird that I need to put weight around it, but it just felt like it needed that. It just felt like it needed that heaviness uh, where the ticket was. So here I am trying that banner up at the top. I really did want to use the banner for two reasons. One, I thought it was um, pretty awesome. Uh, when I was flipping through my sticker sheets, I, I saw it and I wanted to use it. And then plus on the inspiration layout, there is a banner on there. So I figured, you know what, this would be perfect. So like I said, I try it out, put it back. Try it out, put it back. Eventually, eventually it does go on the layout. Um, and that's because I realize I need a title and I want to put the title down here at the bottom, uh, kind of in between where the globe and those airplane uh, decorations are on the right hand side. So it happens. <laughs> the little let's go banner finally makes it onto the layout and that is where the title is going to be. Now I'm looking around and I'm thinking I need to add just something a little bit more. So I pull out these little pebble stickers and I'm gonna place those down. And then I'm gonna go pull out some enamel dots. And I pulled them out in this kind of yellowy color. And these are from um, uh, Fancy Pants. And they match their travel collection uh, really well, um, but it matches this one too. I was thinking about bringing in some of those hearts, but ultimately I decided it was a little bit too much and definitely didn't need that uh, going on. So I pull out one more thing and that is this black label and I put it over here on the left hand side of the ticket um, just to give it a little bit of decoration and fun right there. So that is gonna do it you guys. Thank you so much for joining me during May I Scrap Lift You which is an awesome series started by Crystal of Pineapple Papers. Be sure to check out the links down below, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.